Today, we're making the Lojack. No, we're not stopping anybody from stealing your car. We're making a cocktail with Jack. He's my friend. Jack, number seven. That's nice. Thanks. This episode is brought to you by our fans. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. You guys are like the grenadine in our tequila sunrise. Without you, we just have alcoholic orange juice. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today we're making the Low Jack Cocktail. This recipe was submitted by Suitable for Treatment out on GarnishBar.com. It's good Jack. I tell you that that's a long it is. username. Dude, suitable, I gotta ask you a question. So you're gonna log in and check your mail, something. Do you, you always have to type that huge name every time. Do you ever spell it wrong? And then your password. Yeah, suitable for treatment number 15-1972. Uh, this cocktail uses Jack. That's the Jack in it. And it's in a low ball glass. That's the low in it. See? Can't steal it. One and Is a half. Is that the one that was the thing on your steering wheel? I. Th yes. Or was that the I track? think so. The a low jack. Like, I think you locked it and then they couldn't drive your car because this thing was a big yeah. old thing on it. I think that was a low jack. I think so. Either that or it was a tracking. But I think the low jack was the... Could have been the tracking system, too. I think it was the thing. That could be your question of the day. <laughs> Which one was low jack? Yeah. But once I get the answer, though, it's just, like, everybody just keeps writing the same thing over and over and it gets them tedious. If people send me... Because people... I don't always re respond to everybody's questions of the day, but I read them all. And... If it was the same thing every time, it gets old. Which right. it turned to be when well, I said... Never mind that. Fine. Don't do it. <laughs> when, I, when I said... Um, I mean, I said what the recipe is. Um, what was what was the first... Your first alcohol you ever had or something? And it was like vodka, 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 vodka. Jack Daniels, Jack Daniels, vodka, vodka. Tequila, tequila. It was like there was only three or four things. So... For this, you're going to have to go out and buy yourself some Jack Daniels Old Number 7, which actually is just this. It's like everyone. It just When you say Old Number 7, it makes it sound like some high-end high version, but it's just Jack Daniels. I'm going to build it in this glass. We're, first, we're going to fill it with ice. I'm going to build it over some ice. Now, you might be thinking, is this a Jack and Coke? You would be wrong. Jack and Cherry Coke. That's right. But we're also bringing in Amaretto and some bitters. That's what makes it classic because you have bitters. And you put bitters and things. Everything is so much more high end. You can do the nose and t look down at everybody. Thanks. Okay. For that tip. Tip of the day. And I broke this somehow. Probably transporting it over to Don's house. Or maybe maybe he broke it when I wasn't looking. Yeah, I blame it on him. Um, hopefully we get a half ounce because I am severely lacking on Amaretto. I, I don't know. I thought we had another brand someplace around here, but I got to get some Di Sirono. I put it off last time because I was buying so much stuff. I should just do it. We should have bought it when we bought our coconut rum. I didn't think about it then. Obviously. Four dashes. It says three to four on the recipe. I say four because it makes it highbrow. Is that right? Highbrow. That's your nose. Highbrow, nose, up in the air, whatever. Pinky finger up when you drink. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, also, you want three cherries in here. But I don't have any cherries because my kids ate them all. Got to get some more Luxardos. Damn kids. It's, that's the problem with kids these days. <laughs> they make ice cream and then they use all your cherries. Oh, this is Cherry Coke, by the way. I'm using Coke Zero, Cherry Coke. And don't, it, it's, it's not as sweet, but... Don't worry. Yours will be a little sweeter if you like the sweet stuff. We already had the question of the day about um, your favorite. Ooh, that was oe. Diet or non-diet, and then the whole sucrose and aspartame conversations came up, and it got all crazy. So now you throw in your three cherries. You're done. Drink looks like Jack and Coke. Smells like oh. Jack and Coke. <laughs> smells like Jack and Amaretto. No bitters. It's very sweet smelling. Ooh, I almost got a little bit of... Almost has that burnt Patron smell. Taste. Profile. Hold on. A little rubber tire. Oak. Oak barrel. Maybe a little cedar. A rubber tire that was in an oak barrel? A rubber oak tire. Um, I don't think you're getting far on that. No. There is... You get the 
there's a really nice sense of bitters actually really near the finish that, that might not be as apparent if you use a, a very sweet like a real uh, cherry coke you may get a little more um, sweetness and you might lose some of your neat bitterness I don't want to say bitterness it's it's not bitter they're called bitters but it, it adds a really nice aroma and character to the drink that doesn't have anything to do with bitterness it's weird um, it's just like a spice it's like a flavoring agent It'd be like sitting at home and you're making um, homemade uh, spaghetti sauce I want my spaghetti sauce because I figure every country has spaghetti sauce at some level. Um, and uh, tomato sauce. And you add a little oregano. And that's your that's your secret deal. You're like, oh, it's oregano. That's like this. That's what that kind of does for the cocktail. Pizza spice? Pizza spice, as my son would call it. Uh, the cherry Coke, the cherry flavor is not as apparent. And I blame that mainly on the amaretto kind of pulling away some of that cherry sweetness and kind of giving it a little more spicy kick, a little extra complexity to it. And overall, this is this is a complex cocktail. This is like if you can imagine a uh, a Captain Morgan and Coke with a with an oak because you get that spice with a little bit of sweetness to it. Definitely amped up on the whiskey side because you get that. It's it doesn't have a lot of Jack Daniel taste, but it has the qualities of of the oak from the from the bourbon or don't call it bourbon. These guys will get upset. It's not bourbon. It's Tennessee whiskey. I like it. Very basic yet complex and, and, and high end. Gives you a use for cherry coke. If you like cherry coke, that's the only thing I usually drink. So I'm big on that. I like it. Very, very easy recipe. Question of the day What is your favorite new aged cartoon? You know, let's say, what's a good cartoon? Well, besides obviously, Phineas and Ferb. Ferb, best show on TV. Um, you, and if you if you have an iPod, I highly suggest, or an iPad, you go out and you buy, instead of Where's My Water, which is a pretty, pretty popular game, I think it's just called Where's My Perry. Yeah. Where's My Perry. It's all about saving Perry the platypus from doof and smirts using water and other liquids to uh, break them out on the iPad or iPod touch, I'm guessing. Uh, so what's your favorite cartoon? SpongeBob comes to mind as another one. That's uh, not that new. Adventure though. Time, not... Well, it's kind of new compared yeah. to, like... Yeah, I say skills. a new age being, like, if you're in your 30s and your kids are anywhere from 10 and younger, something that they probably have watched on TV, and it has to be a cartoon. New Beavis and Butthead apparently is out, and they're making fun of Jersey Shore, so I just heard about that. That's, That's not your what your kids are watching, though. Nope, your kids are probably not watching Beavis and Butthead. They're not watching As a kid, Stewie. I watched Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> uh, but, you were older. You weren't a kid. Well, you were a kid, but... I was you weren't like not in college. Age. I was in high school. Yeah. You're a kid in high school. I don't care what they say. You're a kid, but you're not like Brianna's age. No, you're not nine. You know where I'm going with this. Write it. Done. Everydaydrinkers.com. Submit your recipes on garnishbar.com. Just like Suitable for Treatment did. That's a really complex name. I like it. The Lojack. Go make it right now. We're done here, people. We're teaching you how to drink.